Welcome to Design Recipes, everyone. I'm Kathy Hobbs. If real estate, interior design, and exotic travel is what you're looking for, you have come to the right place. Here's what we have on today's show. Natalie Baghdadi of Braha, New York at Keller Williams NYC takes us inside a rare find, a sprawling townhouse right in the heart of the Upper East Side. Plus, downtown Brooklyn is on the cutting edge for development. Our Brooklyn expert, Donald Brennan, gives us an inside look you won't find anywhere else. And a developer's success story, taking a leap and watching a dream come true. The history of Hello Living. Then we get a look inside the Corinthian Collection, a gem in Murray Hill. And it all starts right now. We begin with a rare real estate find in prime Upper East Side. Hi, I'm Natalie Baghdadi with Bracha, New York at Keller Williams, NYC. Kathy. Natalie. Hi, how are you, Kathy? Hey, this is fabulous. A townhouse right in the middle of Manhattan. I love it. Tell me a little bit about it. So we are here at 238 East 68th Street. This is a five-story townhouse. We have five bedrooms, five baths, and two powder rooms. The entire home is approximately 6,500 square feet. And as you can see, it's covered in an Indiana limestone. You have solid mahogany windows, as well as doors throughout the home. Wow. That's probably the best way to put it. So you have double height ceilings here in the entry foyer. The architects put a lot of detail into the home. As you can see, when you walk in, you have coffered ceilings and recessed lighting. Go through the first level of the home. As you can see to the left, you have an automatic light like off it. of the powder room. <laughs> and we have this open space, which is perfect for a library or an additional den. So this is our four passenger custom built elevator with a cherry wood interior and a solid mahogany door. Let's give it a test drive. After you. So here we are on the second level of the home. We're in our formal living room. This is a white onyx fireplace with a mahogany trim. And then you have the dining room right here. Yeah, we're right off of the formal dining room, so this is a great level for entertaining. Yes, I am really liking this. Yeah. This is onyx again? It is, it's onyx throughout. Really nice. And then this is mahogany. Yeah, solid mahogany. Gorgeous. I like the white onyx. Yeah. And we have white onyx over here, I see. Yeah, in our butler pantry and as well as our wine cooler. So we have a beautiful Eden chef's kitchen. You have white lacquer cabinetry throughout. You also have a double door sub-zero refrigerator with double draw freezers. You have a speed convection oven, as well as an espresso and latte maker, and a warming drawer. So over here we have our Wolf six burner oven and grill, as well as overhead hood and pot filler. I'm also seeing double dishwashers, and you have triple sinks here. I've always really desired and appreciated an Aiden kitchen, and I even like this, this little detail here with the bay window overlooking this garden that I'd love to learn more about. Yeah, you can enjoy indoor dining as well as outdoor. Let's take a look. So this is our beautiful Zen garden. We're south facing, so it gets really great sunlight. You also have this beautiful cedar pergola, as well as ivy walls. Here we are in the master suite of the home. This takes up an entire floor, so it's a really lovely wing of the house. Really nice. This is really pretty. Yeah, it's very spa-like. You have herringbone flooring, double sinks, under storage, and then this really cool feature one of the most innovative toilets I've seen around. Wow! <laughs> That's spectacular. I love that. And then you have this Toto soaking jacuzzi tub. And then you have this rain shower head steam shower, which is really relaxing as well. And here we come to the penthouse level. This is an open loft space with this ensuite full bathroom as well as a stone gas fireplace. And that special treat that I have for you yeah. is right this way. So let's go take a look. Natalie, you did not lie. This really is a treat. Yes, you have this beautiful sun deck right here. You also have a really cool feature with the Sonos, which is an app, and it wires for music, and you can just put on music in any level of the house. Wow. I have been in a lot of townhouses. What I love and appreciate about this one is the authenticity of the architecture, but inside it's 
absolutely pristine, brand new, and impeccable attention to detail. Yes, this is really a rare find. We're here on the Upper East Side, prime location. We have five levels, five bedrooms, five full bathrooms, two powder rooms, two outdoor spaces. <laughs> it's just everything that you need. Absolutely spectacular. In our design recipe, using stone in unexpected places. Remember, you don't have to just use stone in a bathroom or a kitchen. For example, in this townhouse, white onyx is used on a fireplace surround, then repeated as the countertop on a built-in buffet, and again in an area used as a wet bar. Moving into the bathrooms, why not use stone as an accent feature? Using a contrasting or unique stone, maybe even involving a little color on a single wall in a bathroom, or elsewhere in the home, which can really help to add a nice decorative touch. Coming up, we take you inside a new condominium offering right in the heart of Murray Hill with some resort style amenities, including a golf simulator. I haven't done this in a while. All right, up next. Welcome back to the show, everyone. I'm Kathy Hobbs. It is rare when old New York can truly meet new New York, but that's exactly what buyers can find at a new offering called the Corinthian Collection, a select group of luxurious residences located inside the iconic Murray Hill building known as the Corinthian. Hi, I am Melissa Vance, Director of Sales of the Corinthian Collection here in Murray Hill. Hi, I'm Kathy. Hi, I'm Melissa Vance, Director of Sales of the Corinthian Collection. Welcome. Thank you so much. I'm excited to see what you have oh, here. Oh, excellent. Can't wait to show you. Melissa, I have to say, as I was coming down the street, I had this feeling that I've been here before. Tell me a little bit about the Corinthian. Yeah, so the Corinthian was originally built in 1988 by the Spitzer family. The famous Spitzer, Governor Spitzer. So, correct, that famous New York Spitzer family, those um, real estate developers. So we became sponsor a year ago when we bought those units. So essentially what we have are those 144 units that were previously owned by the Spitzer family that you now own, mm -hmm. that have been fully renovated, redesigned, and are now available for the very first time? Yes, that's correct. We hired Andre Escobar to do the redesign for us. So they are all now for sale. Well, I'm curious now because I'm familiar with his work. I'd love to see them. Excellent. Let's go upstairs to the model. So here we are in our two bedroom, two full bath um, designed by Andre Escobar. So part of what you offer here at the Corinthian Collection is an Andres Escobar design package? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is. When I say design, I mean from the baseboards to everything, paint color, your finishes, and everything like that. I love the view from the living room of this residence. We truly have every iconic view. We have um, the UN, Chrysler, Empire, Verrazano Bridge, World Trade Center, you name it, we have it. One of the great things about the Corinthian is its 180 degrees bay windows. So here we have the East River view, plus we also have a northern view where we have the UN. So here we are in our dining area. We're able to utilize the space as much as possible where we're able to put built-ins. So we have extra space and shelving, trying to optimize the floor plan as much as we can because the original floor plan is from 1988. Mm -hmm. Love glass backsplashes. This is really nice. I see so many goodies here in this <laughs> kitchen. What do you have? Yeah, we're using um, a quartz countertop. And so for our appliances, um, we're using Bosch for the microwave and also for the stove top. And we are also having a Bosch dishwasher behind our panel. Very nice. Really like that, and that refrigerator is nice as well. Yeah, and we're using Fisher and Pakel as our fridge. Nice. Like the master bedroom. Thank you. Yeah, and one of the another great features of the Corinthians is that every master bedroom has their own private balcony. Now this is privacy. Yeah, gorgeous view. This is a really bright, modern bathroom. Thank you. So what we are doing here is using porcelain on the floors. It's honed porcelain. We are using a quartz countertop. The master bath is in all white. We're using Kohler fixtures for the faucets. For the shower, we have Kalista fixtures. And we're using a Toto toilet. Melissa, I have to say that this is something that you normally don't see in Manhattan, a huge, indoor pool. 
We have a jacuzzi as well. We have a shower to get the chlorine off of you. And then we also have the steam room and also a sauna. So we really have this incredible enclosed area that you can enjoy all year round. And I also love that there's other things that I can do on this floor, right? Yes, there are. We have lots of choices. We can even escape and play some golf. All right, well, let's go. I love golf. <laughs> Excellent. All right, Melissa, what do we have here? Yeah, we have um, local courses here on the Golf Simulator, plus every world-renowned course around the world. So you have a choice of uh, playing local or your dream. I love it. I mean, this is the type of thing where you almost have to go to a facility to be able to practice your golf game. Yeah, and we have it all here at the Corinthian. Let me give it a try. I have to admit, it has been a while since I have picked up a golf club, but let me try this thing out. All right. Here we go. How'd I do? Great shot. Well, here we are in our residence lounge. Love it. We've added the pool table. We also have outdoor space. There's a kitchen, there's a TV, there's a dining table. You can reserve it for any type of events. Is there anything else here that you have as far as amenities? Yes, we have a children's playroom as well with outdoor space with a jungle gym. We have a fitness center and we also have a yoga studio. And then if you want some more outdoor fun, we have an outdoor deck and I have something I really want to show you as well. Okay, this way. Yeah. I'm really loving this. Place where you can relax, hang out, stun yourself. And what is this? This is our outdoor jogging track. So you just need to run around four times and you've done a quarter mile. I like that. Well, Melissa, I have gotten my exercise in, played a little golf, and you've taken me on the spectacular tour of this model residence by Andres Escobar. I have to say, this really feels to me like a new development inside of an existing building. Exactly. We feel exactly the same way. It's really bringing old New York to new New York and really bringing the Corinthians to the 21st century. Up next, we head to Brooklyn for a bit of a creative history lesson, learning more about how development company Hello Living got its start. Up next. Welcome back to Design Recipes, everyone. I'm Kathy Hobbs. The brand Hello Living has indeed made a name for itself in Brooklyn. Known for innovative design, modern technology, and luxurious and creative, if not out-of-the-box finishes. The brand is more than a decade in the making, and the story behind the brand relates to one man and a vision. Their buildings are easily recognizable, standing proudly along the streets of Brooklyn. If you're familiar with the development brand Hello Living and love great design, then you'll love their story. I used to be a special ed teacher in Borough Park and in Williamsburg. I used to travel back and forth through the BQE. One day I was driving, going on Washington Avenue, and I'm coming closer to Pacific Street and I see this huge sign from Massey Nackle for sale. I'm thinking to myself, you know, Maybe I should buy this and start changing the area. But you were a special ed teacher at the time. Yes, I have no idea how, what, why I had that thought, but I saw that sign and for some reason it made me call. Cool. So Kathy, this is my first project. This is where it all began. This is where I saw this big sign for sale and I decided to make the call. I asked them, how much will I have to put down for this property? So he said, you'll have to put down $130,000 as a deposit. So I told them, I maybe can come up with $30,000 and I'll need a little bit more time for the hundred and then for the closing. I went home, I took all these checks from the credit cards that come to pay off balances and I put together the $30,000 and I went into contract. With no experience as a developer, he took a leap. It was extremely scary for me in the beginning because there were so many things that I had no idea that you have to do before buying even a property and before demolishing and, and before construction and all these little things that came constantly to play. Soon after securing the land, Eli was able to break ground and start building a vision that would be a brand new Pacific Street and a series of buildings that would become the cornerstone of the Hello Living brand. You building all these condominiums here along Pacific Street, you were able to really create a community in a way. That's when we use the amenity spaces between the buildings to create that. So it becomes like one big community. And what do you have as far as amenities for the people who live here we on Pacific Street? We have here Street? a gym and this building, a pool. We have 
um, a business center, we have a kids playroom, we have a billiards room, a theater, and all, you know, everybody has access to it. So this really helped to create a community. The Hello Living Development portfolio is impressive. 10 completed projects to date, featuring some of the most innovative design in residential real estate. These days, Eli spends much of a typical day on the road working from the Hello Living mobile office, a fully customized Mercedes-Benz cargo van. What can you do in, in this thing? Um, for starters, I mean, we can use this as literally everything from, from planning to computers to, to all the plans and everything that we need to get done. Are you kind of where it all starts and ends? And by that, I mean, are you just the guy who's putting out fires, just Everyone is just looking at you throughout the day. Every single day, I think, like, how many fires am I going to have to put out today? What are the issues? What are the burning issues that need to be taken care of? And that's that's how my day goes. First stop, a visit to a current project, Hello New York in Lefferts Garden. Working out details with Ted Nikolov, his longtime right hand and vice president of construction and development. How would you describe your job? So, um, I oversee all operations of construction. Um, our field CMs, our, our personnel. I also oversee the real estate development. Uh, we go over new properties together. We figure out what the best to build, how the filing process is, um, you know, coordinate uh, basically everything on the construction and development end. So here at Hello Living, you have your own creative and design team, your own in-house general contracting team, and your own sales and marketing team. So you almost have your own little machine that you have going here. Yeah, it took a long time to put together, to perfect it, but I'm, I'm really happy with where we are now. It's no mistake that Hello Living buildings are distinctive and original, as the vision for nearly all of them begins with Eli and his lead design architect. You seem to really care about your work. Not every developer feels the same way. For me, it, it's all about design. I love designing, I love creating, and the best part is I love creating a unit that is like a white canvas for the people who are going to move in so they can lay out their space as they want. That's why I try to keep everything as open as possible and a flow through as possible. People really appreciate it and that's why I continue doing it like that. So what's next for Eli Carp and Hello Living? I want to take everything that we have done, the open space, the large terraces, focusing on passive house, on energy efficiency, the triple pane windows, the over insulating as we keep doing. Just keep doing this on a much larger scale, bigger and better. Visionary, innovative design, quality construction, attention to detail. Those are just some of the many adjectives used to describe Hello Living. And for the brand and the man behind it, perhaps the sky's the limit. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Design Recipes, everyone. I'm Kathy Hobbs. Downtown Brooklyn is poised for a real estate boom, and plans for the area could affect the borough for decades to come. Our Brooklyn real estate expert, Donald Brennan, has an inside look from those in the know in an interview that you won't see anywhere else. Donald? Thanks, Kathy. Brooklyn has grown tremendously, especially as it relates to development and attracting businesses. Many parts of the borough are in transition. Poised for change and will impact the area for decades to come. In order to get a sense of what is on the horizon for Brooklyn in the immediate and distant future, I had the privilege of interviewing a man who is in the center of it all, Tucker Reed, the president of the Downtown Brooklyn Partnership. Hi, Tucker. Donald Brennan, nice to meet you. Tucker Reed, nice to meet you. Um, can we talk about what we see on the horizon for Downtown Brooklyn over these next 12 months? Yeah, it's an incredibly exciting time here. I mean, you walk these streets, you see a crane on nearly every corner. Um, I think what we're really starting to see is the growth of a 21st century downtown that, that isn't just a central business district where mm -hmm. people come to work, but where increasingly people come to live, people come to consume culture, people come to get educated. Really a multifaceted destination. I remember appraising this building about 20 years ago. Um, seems the like old dime saving event. Yeah, yeah. Certainly is very, very interesting building. Yeah, to me, I mean, this kind of represents the, one of the crossroads here at downtown Brooklyn. We've got this beautiful public plaza, kind of a signifier of the infrastructure investment that's taking place in downtown Brooklyn. We've got the old, you know, beautiful architectural gem that is the Dime Savings Bank. 
and then Juniors, which is obviously an iconic Brooklyn destination. So it looks like some higher density is in the horizon here for Brooklyn. What can you tell us about how that's going to be managed? Yeah, I mean, this is the place to build high density. We have 13 subway lines, 15 bus lines. We're actually at the tip of the iceberg for growth in downtown Brooklyn, which is a little bit hard to stomach right now when you look around and see this kind of astronomical growth. But, but this is a neighborhood where growth should happen. Here we are in Fulton Mall, where the retail is experiencing some change. Uh, not too far from here in Dumbo, there's businesses like Etsy. Closer by, we have MakerBot. You know, in terms of other new retail, this building right behind us here at City Point is going to be opening uh, in the very near future. They've got a new Target and a Alamo Draft House and movie theater coming in, uh, along with a food court that's going to be kind of curated with local Brooklyn uh, uh, cooks and chefs and food offerings. And so we're very excited about what's going to happen in the retail here. You know, I think the Fulton Mall is a great balance today sure. of old Brooklyn, mom and pop, small businesses with national, with locally owned uh, New York chains like Shake Shack or Brooklyn Industries, mm -hmm. and then the national chains that have come in as well. They look, Brooklynites want options and want to be shopping in places like H&M and Aeropostal, and, and they now have that option here in, on the Fulton Mall. Great. As we've just learned, Brooklyn is an exciting and dynamic place to live, work, develop real estate, go to school, start a business. Some would say Brooklyn already rivals Manhattan in what it has to offer. Back to you, Kathy. Thanks, Donald. Well, that does it for this edition of Design Recipes. Remember that you can watch full episodes anytime at pix11.com backslash Design Recipes. See you next time.